Hey guys, my name is Paul Vandervoort, and I'm taking you through a workout of mine. Uh, the purpose is full body and also active lifestyle. So for me, that's surfing, martial arts, snowboarding, wakeboarding, uh, whatever that may be for you. We're going to start off, it's going to be full body. Uh, we're going to start off with a basic dumbbell row. I'm going to grab a stability ball if you don't have one. Just keep your legs straight, back arched. We're going to just pull all the way down up to your armpit. So I'm going to have one foot in front of the other, and I'm going to balance on the stability ball as we go. One, two, three, four, all the way up to your armpit, all the way down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One of the things I like about the stability ball is you can purposefully kind of set yourself off balance. By doing that, your core has to be activated to force yourself back into balance. So you go one, two, three, four, shoulders back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's just kind of, what I mean by that is just kind of putting yourself at a, a little bit of a strenuous position here on the ball, engages your core at the same time. Um, what we're going to do next is a medicine ball toss. So I'll be right back. And again, this is going to be the same thing as the stability ball. If you don't have one, you can still do this exercise at home. You can watch Dorian, how she's going to modify this for you and just do it without one. Uh, I suggest you get one. They're pretty cheap and it's a good investment. Um, I would start with the left leg. We're going to throw up, catch with the right and go back. So we're going to do 10 of these, starting with the left side. We go one, two. As you go, you can kind of throw yourself off balance by throwing higher, throwing further, jumping in a way that keeps yourself off balance so you have to engage all those stabilizing muscles. Here we go. Throw back. Four. If you fall, just recorrect. And if you're not falling at all, maybe push yourself a little bit harder. <laughs> Six. Seven. And up. Back to the right. All right, let's do one more each side. To the right and back down. And you're doing this at home, so it's okay. If you're falling all over the place, if you feel awkward, it's good. I actually think it's better. Um, if you're just playing it safe and you're right here with perfect form, you're not really engaging all of this. So you can throw, throw yourself off. Be safe, start light, go heavier. But sometimes the more off balance you are, the more you're gonna engage your full body. Um, next, set that aside. We're going to grab the Swiss ball. And again, if you don't have a Swiss ball, they'll modify on either side of me. Um, we're going to just put one foot on the back of the ball. We're going to get balanced, both feet, push up. Then we're going to rotate all the way up to the side and come back. So I get the ball. So I'm going to start with one foot, push up position. Again, if you fall, that's just part of the game. Just get back on. We're going to switch. One. You might watch me fall. And up to the other side. Back down. And up. Go at your own speed. Here you go. Back down. And up. All right, how you guys doing? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. All right, and down. Perfect. Practice, go slow. I fall off half the time, it's okay. Uh, it's just all about stability, which takes work and it takes falling. So uh, that's pretty much for this one. You can do three sets of this. You start with one set, however you feel. Another thing we're gonna do, just give it 30 seconds, take a break. Whew. Stretch out. We're going to do another version of push-ups, which you've probably seen before, but we're going to incorporate it into here. You don't need anything for this. You're going to come down to a push-up. You're going to push with as much power as you can. Try to clap and come back. It's one of those things, again, if you fall, it's okay. Just try to not fall on your face. Um, all right, you guys ready? Let's do this. Here we go. So guys, when you're doing this, you can do it one of two ways. You can do the straight up push up, or you can watch Dorian. She's gonna modify it for us. It's a great way to start. You're gonna just start on your knees. Just come up, get the clapping motion, get that balance. And then as you get more comfortable, you can just go all out. So 
Here we go, let's try for 10 of these. It's gonna be fast and the goal is just be explosive. And here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. <laughs> How's it going? How are you doing? All right, clapping push-ups. You've seen it before. Now you can start doing it at home. Good. Um, do one more quick exercise, which is going to be, again, this is a lot of push-ups. But that's, you know, that's core, that's foundation. And we're also engaging core with everything that we're doing. So this one, we're going to come down push-up position. Now pushing, like we push up to the clap, we're going to push up to a squat. And then when we're squatting, we just jump. Doesn't matter how high you jump, if you start, you get this high, it's fine. Increase as you go. I'll show you one time what it's going to look like. Push up. And you can push up like you can push up. And you can go to a squat. What I like to do, especially the surfer in me, is come down and just push right to a squat. As soon as we get there, and that's it. Let's go for 10 of these. We got this. You got this. All right. Push up to squat. Up. Back down. Two. Three. Four. Uh, try to push yourself. If you get comfortable, get uncomfortable. Go a little higher. Go a little faster. Six. Seven. You can pause, catch your breath. Or you can just go all the way through. Eight. Nine. Last one, here we go. 10. I'm Paul Vandervoort. Thank you guys very much for checking out our extreme full body workout. Catch you next time. Right foot front. Gonna go slow. Jab. Punch. 